but I don't care. Okay, so what you can show us here? So this is a, uh, a terahertz um, time domain spectroscopy setup. So I've got a, an ultra fast fiber laser that's uh, 100 femtoseconds, uh, 1550 nanometer, 100 uh, megahertz repetition rate. Uh, the output is split in two. Two fiber coupled outputs uh, that then send dispersion compensated uh, pulses at 100 femtoseconds to a photoconductive uh, antenna on the emitter side. Uh, and there's a uh, collimating lens and uh, a wave path and a focusing lens over to a detector. And the other half of the uh, femtosecond laser is sent through a variable delay. Uh, the general photonics polarized delay stage there. Um, the delay is scanned in time, which gates the uh, detector response, and as it's uh, going through the, the temporal portion, it draws out the, the terahertz electric field. Uh, and from that, we can make uh, an FFT to determine the spectral content of the pulse that we get through uh, to do spectroscopy. So in this example, we've got the, uh, the robot capable to distinguish uh, through transmission spectroscopy on the uh, business cards are, are plastic here, so I'm assuming I can convince him to hang on. It, it's a little tricky because they're not stepper motors. <laughs> Get in there. Takes a bit of practice. So then it goes over, puts the uh, cards in the, uh, in the path. So the, the red curve, the white curve is the, the control run with nothing in the, uh, in the sample chamber. Uh, the red line is the, with the trace that we're taking now. And so this is the terahertz waveform being drawn. All the extra bumps and bounces are a result of the spectroscopy of the, uh, the business cards and then we're predominantly just looking at the, uh, the index change, the time delay to, uh, to make the identification. But presumably people that uh, would use this would, can get more exotic in, in looking at the FFT information and doing actual spectroscopy instead of just uh, time of flight kind of measurements.